is what we're going to do today. We're going to do a recoil. We're going to improve our recoil system and make it like proper instead. So expect. That at the end and the shotgun works the same way as well except it's a little bit less and then our pistol is our smallest so it doesn't really move very much but still has some recoil so this couple with the spread couple with the camera shake that's coming in the next couple of videos then you'll have like a really good weapons feeling system you don't need to have watched the previous video for this but it would have helped any time that recall is mentioned, you can just use whatever figure you've got uh, already set up. But if you've watched previous videos, then it's all going to be run through our data table as usual with our recall values. So any questions, let me know below and thank you for watching. So we're going to come to firearm events and in the event graph, we're going to create a new custom event. And this will be our recoil. And this needs to be a sequence. Get a sequence. So we're going to do one thing and then we're going to do another. And then we need to get player pawn. I do add controller pitch input. And then we're going to do add controller your input. And we're going to connect those together and then from this value we want to do random float in range the min and the max are going to be divided by minus one so minus one at the bottom and then we can just put this into both of these And then from the top node, we're going to get another divide. And this needs to be 200. And then what we need to do is we're going to go to S item details. So we're going to find our structure. We're going to S item details. And then we're going to remember that's not where we want to go. So we're going to go to weapon details. Because item details can be anything, but weapon details is very specific to the weapon. We're going to go float. I'm going to make a new float for recoil. I'm going to add that. And in the firearms event, we can get item details. We can break that to get our weapon details. And then we can plug recoil in this event here. And we'll compile and save that. We'll go back to our shoot gun function. And between rapid trace and reset fire, we're going to call. Oh. And then I need to find our data table. So back to data tables and find our rifle. And in weapon details, we're going to put a recoil in here. And that recoil is going to be about 50 for the rifle and 100 for the shotgun and then the pistol probably also 25 maybe i'm going to save that come out and give all of this a bit of a wiggle and then we're going to play from here and pick this up and then we are recoiling off to the side as we want it. Oh. If we do the shotgun,
fix it up that way. What we might want to do is make it a bit more random. Come back to fire our events and go back to recoil. We probably want to do duplicate these random floats here and put that one into the top one at 200. And then what we'll do is we'll put another one into the bottom and we'll change that to 400. Give it even more randomness. We'll come out here, click play here. So that pulls a bit to the left a bit much and these divides are a bit unconventional so what we'll do is we'll change those to be multipliers as they should be and this bottom one that's pulling 400 we'll put the 400 into the max from there and we'll duplicate get rid of this top one and put the min and max into there then that should be a bit more pulled up rather than straight up to the left. So yeah, you can see that it does a bit more of a snake as well. And if you wanted to, you could even change this value here. So like, put this at 600, put this one at 300, and that would then pull in different directions. can change the rifle recoil to be like a hundred So yeah, the lower this value is, then the more random it sort of becomes. Like that's a bit silly. For the upwards motion, so that one should be at 400. But if you want it more random on the sideways, then you change that bottom one. Nice little random pattern there. So, multiply, multiply. This bottom one controls the randomness to the left and right, and this one controls how much it moves up and down. So, up and down, left and right. And lower values are better here, but bad here. So, you just be like lower equal. Bad. That way, equal more variance. Like so. And that's how we put a simple recoil into our games that we can use as well.